Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about role level security in Power BI servers. So now what is role level security in Power BI? So role level security in Power BI allow you to give access to specific users or specific people depending upon their roles and responsibilities. So basically role level security gives you the data security, I would say, related to the report that you want to share with your colleagues from different department or with different sites okay so if i want to give you an example i have three different department and i want to share the same report with three different teams or the department but that specific department people or that specific department users will be able to view only the report for their particular department so if I want to go as per the definition, role level security is a feature in Power BI which allows you to control and restrict access to specific rows of data in your data sets based on a user role. This ensures that users see only the data that is relevant to their roles and responsibilities, providing a layer of data security within Power BI reports and dashboard. So as I said, I have three different departments and I want that specific user of that department should see only the report for his own department and not others. So there are two ways to set up your role level security. One is the static way and the other one is your dynamic way. Okay. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and see how we can set this up. So I'm into Power BI desktop. This is a very simple report that has been created wherein you get the sales amount by fiscal year, product category name, total sales amount, subcategories on and so forth okay now what i want is now let's consider this category name if you see here as a department okay so there are three categories which says accessories bikes and clothing so now what i want to do is consider this as a three different department and i want to share the data for the relevant category with the relevant department okay so to do so, what we will have to do is go to the modeling tab and in modeling tab, you will be able to see manage roles. Let's click to manage role. So once you click on the manage role, you get this particular page which says add or create roles. What we will do is we will just click on create and we will add a new role. Now you see there are on in the middle of this, you get a lot of tables which shows that which tables are connected to your data set now first let's uh, add a role as bikes okay now let's go to the product category add a filter and let's take the english product category name let's enter the value as bikes and click as save so what will happen here is now your role has been set as bikes okay if i click on this you see I have one role which says white. So now let us go and add one more role which says clothing. Let's go to the product category. Add a filter and let's take English product name and let's add a category as clothing and click on save. Now if I want to go and check this whether the roles are set up and whether the, it is working or not. Let's go to view as and now you will be able to see there are or roles that has been set up as bikes and clothing. If I click on bikes, what will happen? The data will be filtered basis the product category name as bikes and the numbers on your report will change as per your filters. Okay, let's click OK and see. Now you can see that what is happening here is the data has been changed basis the filter that I've selected. It is also giving you a. It is also showing you now viewing as bikes as a filter. The table here, the slicer has changed to bike. The table has changed to bikes, and it is just reflecting the data related to bikes. Okay, let now stop viewing this, and now everything will return as the way it was previously. So you can see that it has returned to its previous report how it was looking like. Now let us go and just click on view as and check for clothing as well. So now 
Let's look at for the numbers. It is 29.36 million. And if I click on clothing and click on OK, you can see on the left hand side, the sales amount related to clothing will appear and the numbers changed. OK, you see the table has also been refreshed and the number has been changed. Now we are viewing this as clothing. Now let us stop viewing this and it will return to our original report that we set up. Now, this is the very first step to set up the row level security. Now, I want to go and publish this to various departments. So, how to do it? Okay, so to do so, what we will have to do is just publish this report onto your workspace. Let us go and click on publish. Click on save. Uh, let us publish this to the test workspace. Click on select. Publishing adventure work and it has been success. Now just go and open that. Okay, I am into Power BI service and now let us go to our workspace, test workspace. Okay, here you will be able to see that report that we have published that is Adventures Works product copy. Okay, you can see we have published it now. Let us go to this more option and click on security. Okay, now you see. Once I click on security, it gives you row level security. And now from here, you can share the report with the specific department users. Okay. As of now, I do not have any users for any of this department or I do not have any excess users. So I won't be able to share it. Okay. So this is how I can add a row level security by a static way. And let us go and find how we can do this in a dynamic way as well. So to do so in a dynamic way, what we'll have to do is go back to the Power BI desktop and now use a credential or use a DAX function which says user principal name. Okay. So now let me go and add a new DAX for you. So let me uh, name this as RLS equals to user principal name now what this user principal name does is it will take the user name that is associated to your system it will go and check to which department you are associated with like whether you are associated with the bikes department or accessories department to which department you are associated with so it will just show you the data related to that particular department only Okay, so this is a dynamic way to set up a user principal name. Okay, so let me show you how it looks like. Let me take a card visual and let me bring this RLS here. Okay, so you will see that okay to which laptop it has been connected and with the name. Okay, and now we need to follow the similar procedure how we did it for the static way to assign the report. Okay. So yes, that's all about in today's video. Hope you like this video. Please comment below and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.